What's going on guys? Welcome to the 47 Xamarin Android tutorial. So this video is going to be taking a quick look at the toolbar again and how we can actually add widgets and views into our toolbar, okay? So when we look over here, we can see that we added four items by inflating the action menu, but that's not the only way to get to get views inside of here and to further customize it. As you can see here, I've added a button and a text view, okay? So that's what we're going to be working on in this video, which is really simple and really quick um because it's it's really not too bad at all because it's just another view group okay so if we look at the documentation here we can see guys that from a linear layout which we're all pretty familiar with we can see that it it inherits from view group okay and when it, something inherits from view group that means that we can add and remove sub, uh, sub views to that okay so much like we do a linear layout and now look at how this also the toolbar inherits from view group as well. So linear layout and toolbar are the same in the sense that they both inherit from view group. However, of course, their own, they have their own methods and they're, they are different, but they both inherit from view group. So we can use them, we can each use them as a view group. Okay, so we can add and remove sub views from each of them, okay? So using that knowledge, let's go ahead and implement that right now, okay? So this is continuing, of course, from the previous video where we have the toolbar on the bottom. And really all we need to do is we need to come into our main file, okay? And what we need to do is we need to, we're just gonna add a button and a text view to our toolbar, okay? So we need to be conscious about the fact that we don't have a lot of room because we've already inflated four items onto it using the menu. However, we still have some room. So what we're gonna do is we're actually going to create a linear layout, okay? So a linear layout is actually, that has an orientation of horizontal, is actually very ideal for putting some stuff in here since it'll stack side by side, it's children. So what we can do is we can do wrap content and then we can have a height of match parent and then we can specify that we want the orientation to be horizontal, okay? So now we would just need to add a button. We're gonna add our button. We're gonna give it an ID so that we can reference it via code and we'll just call it button toolbar. And then we're going to give it a width which is required. It is going to wrap content And then we're gonna give it a height, which is also going to wrap content. And just give it some text just to just to have some fun with it. I am in a toolbar. Okay. And then the background color, we can give it the same background color as the actual the toolbar that is acting like the action bar. And we can do that here because we have set the color primary inside of this theme inside of our styles, okay? If you remember from the two videos ago. And then we can set the text color to white. And then we can just give it some padding for the text so that it's not so close to the edge. Just some styling. Right. And then finally, we can give it a margin so that it's not so close to its its uh, neighbor text view that we're about to create here in a moment. And there's our button, okay? So now we can just take the text view from here just to get a lot of its attributes, which are gonna be the same for this text view. And we can go ahead and change a few things on it, okay? And we'll do need to and then X text color, we want it to be white. And we'll make it a little smaller. And because this isn't directly inside of a, a relative layout, that attribute will not apply. And that should be good, okay? So now that we have that, we can come into our main activity, of course. And all of you are, I'm sure, professionals at this by now, since we've done it about a million times. We can create a button, and then we can grab a reference of it inside of the code, cast it, and reference the ID. And then of course, we can just wire up a quick click event 
for the button, which we can handle however we want. So what's nice about this is that we don't have to treat it any differently at all, okay? So we can just simply use the button like it's in any other view, because it really is just any other view. Okay, so we'll do something like toolbar. Okay, so now that we, we should have a button and we should have a text view inside of our toolbar, and then of course our button will be wired up. Okay, so what I'm trying to demonstrate here is how uh, another thing, another way we can customize the toolbar, of course, and then how simple it is really to just start customizing it and adding stuff to it because like I said, it's just really is just a view group that we can that we can just add stuff in. Okay, so really cool stuff, guys. Uh, with with this, hopefully at this point you're pretty comfortable with the toolbar because in the next video what we're going to be doing actually is talking about how to create a drawer layout using the new support library because if you have created a support library with the version four then you've noticed that it's actually deprecated the action bar drawer toggle. Uh, if you created one, you'll know what I'm talking about. I actually have a video on it. So that video is now at a little out of date because it's using a deprecated library. It'll still work fine, but it's deprecated. So now that we have our hands on and got our hands dirty with the toolbar, which is, which is needed for the new uh, drawer layout, we're going to be able to use that toolbar with a new action bar drawer toggle to have a updated new clean drawer layout for material design. Okay. So that's going to be the next video. Now here you can see that we've added our button and our click event is, is ready. It looks like our text view may have gotten cut off a little bit and that's no problem. All that is is because of the fact that it is not matching parent. So that will fix that problem. And other than that though, that is pretty much everything and we're going to be good to go. Okay. So like I said, in the next video, if you've been looking on how to do a drawer layout with the new material design with the toolbar and the, the action bar drawer toggle, that's going to be the next video. Now that we have uh, a good hold on the toolbar and a little bit of what it's about and how to use it. Okay. Thanks for watching guys.